The Saints Row reboot is an abomination. This game makes Ubisoft look competent. I hear people keep saying that this game feels like it's from the late 2000s, but truth be told, that's insulting to games from the late 2000s because Saints Row 2 is a thousand times the game this is. Even Saints Row 4 is about 250 times the game this is. There are so many things wrong with this game that I couldn't possibly address all of them in this video because this game won't be relevant in about another week. So I guess we'll start with the combat. Volition decided to take the, if it ain't broke, break it approach with this one. This game said fun? No, 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 not on our watch. So they remove meat shields, increase HP, block many fun mechanics behind grindy progression that takes far longer than the six hour story to unlock, and then force you to choose which five basic mechanics you want active at any time. And as a further measure to combat fun, they lock takedowns to a meter so that you can't do them whenever you want. And on top of all that, this AI is so incompetent, so afraid of ever actually challenging the player or doing anything that would make them feel remotely alive, that it makes the insane AI from Saints Row 2 look like HAL 9000. Now let's talk about driving. What a, what a hoot. Physics? More like Fuck it, because that's what the developers said when they were programming this trash. Motorcycles can send trucks flying, cars explode and send parts shooting into space, cars can do front flips and oh, you actually want weight to your cars? What are you, a bigot? Are you body shaming? Even waffles don't apply the laws of physics, and it's only made worse because of how many crutches they gave the artificial imbeciles. Does the AI keep crashing while pursuing you? Well, the developers will just despawn, respawn, teleport, and enter them into a tenth year instead of just making a semi-functional AI like they did 13 years ago. And as one final fuck you, they don't even have to listen to physics at all. But truth be told, I'm envious of the AI because they don't have to listen to this radio. The radio in this game is god awful. This is best represented by a song called I Left My Wallet in El Segundo. This song is so bad, I thought this was some high level satire and that this was made in the studio. And don't even get me started on the commercials. These aren't just stepping down, this is falling off of a cliff. Satire is completely lost on these writers, but that's probably because their number one priority when writing comedy is safety. This oh, cringe-inducing like humor you makes kids shows look away. edgy. Very quickly, I'd like to retouch on customization. This game feels like they always meant to have the lady boss as the only non-customizable character, and then after getting backlash, they just decided to ham-fist it back in. And for what's supposed to be the best customization ever, the clothing is scarce spread into way too many stores, and then the only two stores that old fans know are locked in the end-to-end -end game that none of them will reach. The only thing worse is the gun customization. When you level up your guns, they don't change visually at all, at any level. Once again, nine years ago, back when Volition even still had half a brain cell, they knew to include that. But worse than the gun customization is the open world. I called this shit. It's piss filter galore, you can't go into most buildings, and in fact, some shops will have a building, but then you shop at the shack in front of the building. <laughs> <laughs> the streets are barren, and what little AI liveliness you do get has the depth of a North Korean grocery store. And speaking of stepping down from old titles, let's talk about side activity. The side activities start with you driving from point A to point B, and they evolve into the endgame activities, which are exactly the same. The best ones are the ones where the objective comes to you, because at least that means the pain will be over soon. Soon. The only mission that did play differently was insurance fraud, and that was glitched out so hard for me that no cars were driving on the road, and I had to spend 15 minutes on each mission throwing myself at cars in the Kmart parking lot. Then I had to do that six more times because to complete a venture in this game, you have to 100% each activity, whether you like it or not. There are anti-fun mechanics, but this is just a straight up anti-Christ mechanic. This shit is unholy. And before I get to the story, this game's got more bugs in it than a bug's life. I know every member of the Saints Row subreddit received a bug-free copy, but I did not. I got all of it. Crashing, T-posing, AIs not moving during a red alert, floating heads, the enemies having invincibility frames, shops turning into prison cells, and my personal favorite, in the beginning of the game, you can hop off of your motorcycle and it will crash the enemy AI's brains so that they're forced to just blankly stare at you as you kill them. I'd like to pause the video right here to remind you, this game is $60. Anyways, I've delayed long
long enough, we have to now talk about the story. Kevin is shirtless. I don't know why. The writing in this game feels like they went to their local kindergarten and gave the kids one hour each day to just go ham at it. Then went to Twitter and let them proofread it to remove anything that may be remotely offensive or creative. And for some reason, I can't put my finger on it. I just can't pay as much attention to this character as I can to this one. I mean, this one, I'm at attention. And th but then this one, I'm spacing out. I don't know what it is. Anytime the writing steps out of the constant cliches, you get situations like this right here. One mission, it's, we do this for the people, the saints are everyone. And then two missions later, you're blowing up countless civilians outside a mall. These characters are the definition of cliche hypocrites that say they believe one thing, then do the complete opposite with not a hint of satire that would signify that this was actually intentional. Also, because the main story is only six hours, everything feels rushed. There's no buildup to kill antagonists. It just suddenly happens. In fact, they don't even build up most of the antagonist leaders. I have no clue who he's killing right now. You get to see none of what your actions do to the other factions. You don't even get to officially destroy any faction. And they don't give any hard-hitting reason that legitimately motivates the player and makes the kill feel satisfying in the end. But hey, maybe they just saved all that for the DLC, right? The only character I can relate to in this game is the guy that walked head-on into a train because that's what I want to do every time I hear the cast make any joke. Twitter people try to say that this humor is just like the old games, but anyone that has played them knows that that is completely false. Even the gaming journalists are aware of it. The old humor actually subverted expectations instead of just going, oh shit, no shirt guy, oh he doesn't have a shirt again, oh my god, I can't believe it, he got me, that was a good one. The old humor wasn't afraid of offending everyone because that's how satire work. This new humor is straight out of the unfunny asylum that has a hee hee ha ha or bored of real funny guys that make sure everyone can be a part of every joke and there is no punching down? <laughs> it doesn't sound right. These jokes would barely offend a nun, and as a result, this is the end product you can expect. I never miss nacho night. I'm in line for nachos right now. I really wanted those nachos. Just wanted some damn nachos. That should do it. Thank God it's How about those nachos? fuck. Now finally, let's talk about the ending. But hang on one second. Hey Siri, remind me. I called this shit. This is arguably the best part about this game, but definitely not because it's good. And you know what? For the hell of it, somebody asked me to rewrite the ending because of how bad it is, so this next Fleekazoid Deluxe Cut goes out to that guy. Roll it. Volition, you piece of shit. You have been posting cringe for the last 10 years. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? You bury me under a mountain of dirt in the beginning, then that turns into a shallow pull at the end? <laughs> do you guys even read what you're writing? Are you able to? The big bad final boss's motivation is becoming the bestest friend of your friend group? <laughs> you are on some Care Bears type shit. You keep showing this cat as a part of the team as well. I is that is that one of your guys' jokes again? Jesus. Where'd you find these writers? Off the lot of She-Hulk? Truth be told, you're a lost cause. I wanted to love this game because I love this series, but time and time again you have ignored the fans, and now you release this piece of shit that was written by children for children that takes every last thing that is Saints Row and burns it into fucking ash. Until the only recognizable thing about this empty husk of a game is the packaging that you can find completely in stock in Walmarts everywhere. When your studio collapses, make sure you take this franchise into the grave with you. So I don't have to come back and do this shit again.